Hi everyone, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to make a closed umbrella. Uh, we're going to start by deleting the cube. And first of all, we're going to make the handle. And for the handle, we need two things. Uh, we're going to add a cylinder that we don't need later on, but you see why. And we're pressing R, Y, 90. Um, and we're going to add a circle. Vertage 31, I leave it. And we say for uh, diameter or radius one, 0 0.1. Okay. We're going on a little inside to have a quick look. Okay. We go to edit mode and we're going to tool add modifier. For the guys who already seen screw, this is very simple. Uh, for those who didn't see my tutorial about screw, I will explain a short, a short explanation from how to do it. Because the axis don't work, uh, that's the reason why I needed a cylinder. Uh, I'm using the cylinder to make a rotation. We want a 180 turn. And if you look carefully, you see that uh, this is not very good looking. This is because uh, the steps should be more. So we increase the steps to 200. And the render steps also to 200, otherwise your rendering is not okay. Uh, now, to uh, change diameter of the handle, uh, you can press object and you can switch this one you see to the left or to the right and the diameter will be changed I'll show you uh, I'll use s now to scroll down so you can see it better so minimize it's the center that counts so we go back to selecting that object we go back to edit mode and we are going to switch yeah? If you see this is okay, don't bother. If you say this is too much, go back to object mode, select the cylinder and bring it in or out. It's not in there. You see that the diameter is changing. So if you think it's okay, it looks nice. I leave it that and switch back to um, this part and go to edit mode. Now we're going to over here and we're going to close it. But we use the selection tool edge, left click. I didn't select it. Uh, selected the other one. Okay. Go to edit modes. I didn't. Sorry. Apply. Okay. When this is done, go to edit mode. Yeah, now it's looking okay. Select the edge. Right click on that one. And Alt right click. And then you selected the edge. We're using now E Z to stretch. Uh, we stretch to somewhere over here and we're pressing F to close. So this part is already done. Now we go to the other side. Uh, we select, Alt, select. The whole part is selected. Now we zoom out and we're going to stretch by E Z. And we're going to stretch a lot to something over there. Okay. Now we're going to uh, look at the top of the handle, it is normally a little conically, so we press E, Z again to stretch it a little bit, like this, and we press left mouse click of course, and then S to bring it more closely, and now we're going to add a little bit extra E, Z again, left mouse click S, bring it to left mouse click alt m and bring it to the center and it is done we're going to give it some color material color new and choose brown we're going to pick it somewhere over here a little bit darker like that give some shine uh, yeah, okay we'll leave it good we call that one a handle zoom out go to object mode and smoothen it this is done uh, we uh, if you press this one it's uh, off the screen but it's still in the render mode now we're going to make the rest of the umbrella and we're going to start with a circle again that we're gonna put vertice 24 
you'll see in a minute why it's necessary 24 and we say for instance uh, one millimeter and we're going to put it at uh, position zero so we press n to get to that board or that tab we press zero 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 yeah and now we're going to zoom in and we go to edit mode now oh, the cylinder i don't need to just switch it off here switch it off there otherwise it will be rendered uh, we go to edit mode and we're going to select the edges uh, the, uh, the vertices select that one leave one open press uh, shift in and reselect leave one open reselect and we do the whole turn like this leaf every time one open and oh, I forgot some it should look okay like this okay when this is done press s to go to the center and we're going to do something like this press a to deselect and a to full selection mode scroll out and we're going to say ez to make a large one to extrude and we're going to extrude a little bit more like that and now we're pressing s to go to the center um, pay attention that before you press s you go outside your uh, your part because it's much easier to scroll in and we do it like that okay when this is okay zoom, zoom a little bit in like this and we're going to press es to bring something uh to the to the inside why don't we close it directly i will show you in a few seconds uh why did why, why do we do it in one time uh press es again to the middle left mouse click alt m and close same on the on on the other side we select the edge by edge selection that one alt shift uh, alt click on the other one and we say es do something like that not too much if you go too much you sh i'll show you in a second or you can press now es again left mouse click alt m and at the center or you can press f not important okay when this is done uh, now we're going to tool mode well no we're going to put the material in i'm going to put uh, the material uh, red in so choose red because i want the red umbrella a shiny red umbrella put it at one okay this is looking nice now we're going to the tool modifier and we use modify subdivision surface and now we're going to put it at four okay if you're now going to look over here you see like this if you got the small one too small you will see that it ends up somewhere over here so we're going to reselect it to show you how it works uh, select that one alt select that one and now press s and you see what's happening if you got it too slow too much to the center you, you can change it whatever you want if you want it more outside put it more outside if you want it inside you put it more inside uh, so i'll put on the handle so we can see something so my handle is very thick so uh, i'll bring it somewhere over here outside like this i'm going to select that one alt select that one and we press s to enlarge it a little bit yeah it's looking good and we go yeah it's look rather nice now the same on the outside on the outside if you feeling not perfect about this one and you say okay that's too much or too less uh, uh, do the same uh, select I uh, can show you it's not that uh, it's not that difficult select that one alt uh, select that one pressing s and you can enlarge him like that or you can bring it inside same with the, the inner circle s shift and you can use uh, the alt function to the second hand s to open it up a bit more or to close it more down it's depending what you like I like mine uh, of course like this now we're going to uh, apply it of course in object mode to so switch to object mode or top whatever you like uh, apply and 
smoothness. Now we're going to position the, the handle. Select the handle and bring it somewhere over here that the top is just above it. Like this. And your umbrella is ready. Now uh, we go to zero to see uh, the camera. And we're going to lock camera view. Now we can uh, do whatever we like with the parts. And we're going to rotate it a little bit like that. Uh, we'll bring it somewhere over here. Press R. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Let's uh, select both of them because uh, R to rotate them a little bit like that. Uh, position it in, in the camera view. Uh, okay, and if you think you're there, it's it's depending what you want to see or how you want to see it. I want it a little more angles and a little more closer. Okay, when this is looking okay for you, then. Uh, Unlock and press O on the num keyboard or the numpad. Now the only thing necessary is to put in uh, uh, lights at a certain position. I put mine over there and bring it up to three. I'm going to uh, put it a little more closer and we're going to add another one. Copy D. We're going to paste it somewhere over here like that. And we're going to render it. And this is how the umbrella looks like. The closed umbrella looks like if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching